Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wa salatu salam ala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Um, this is one of the most powerful videos you'll see on YouTube. Um, if you have a younger, you know, brother who's not practicing or friend that's not practicing, show them this and inshallah it should hit their heart. Check it out. So I say I love you all for the sake of a love. Never met that much brotherhood around me as well, bro. I've got a lot of friends, but your brothers made me feel very comfortable, bros. <laughs> love you all for the sake of a love. May Allah reunite us in Jonathan for those. All the brothers. I mean. It's like I don't want to leave to you. Choose me at all. <laughs> I used to think that it was serious that they used to just sort of gas up the thing that uh. one thing yeah you know these brothers a lot of these brothers are coming from council estates do you know how hard it is to actually show your feelings and be honest that like to crown to cry knowing that it's being recorded and so forth when you're coming from a council estate when you're coming from a tough neighborhood and so forth yeah like a lot of people will be too ashamed because they, they're worried what people are going to think, you know, what, what guys are going to think, what girls are going to think and so forth. But to show that they had this environment, going to the Kaaba and going to Umrah and stuff actually changed them. It takes courage, yeah, for, you know, for you to speak your feelings and for it to be recorded. It being in tears in it, when you're coming from a place where you're not supposed to have any feelings as a young guy, you know. But well, it just shows you how much this affected their hearts. So I say I love you all for the sake of a love. Never met that much brotherhood around me as well, bro. I've got a lot of friends, but your brothers made me feel very comfortable, bros. Okay. Love you all for the sake of a love. May Allah reunite us in Jonathan for those. Amen. All the brothers. I mean, it's like I don't want to leave to you. Choose me to talk. I used to think that it was serious, that they used to just try to gas up the thing that our brothers are really changing, they're, they're from here and there, that this is what they were on before and that, I'm not going to lie, I was a hater, innit? I'm not going to lie, like, I've come here, I've met the people, like, I've heard the stories and that, and that, they, these brothers are really changed, like, the stories you hear, like, it's, it's so mad, you know, like, the way they've changed, like, the way people have... Uh, the brothers that, let me hear the stories and these brothers are bad. One thing, yeah, sorry to interrupt, yeah, but look at their happiness. These young brothers' happiness, yeah, when they're by the carbor, yeah, when they're by the carbor, yeah, the happiness on their face. The happiness on their face, yeah, is like normally a young boy when he's given weed or when he's given that. Like, some music or when he's given some alcohol or when he's always going to link a girl, they normally have this like. That since like this this happiness like this enjoyment on their faces, but these brothers, yeah, are at the carver and you can see the joy in their faces, man. So, so, so I just think it's priceless, man. I've met the people, like I've heard the stories and that, and that they, these brothers have really changed. Like, the stories you hear, like it's, it's so mad, you know, like the way they've changed, like, the way people have, like the brothers that. Like, and uh, I'm not gonna lie, I was a hater, innit? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, like, I've come here, I've met the people, like, I've heard the stories, and that, uh, and uh, they, these brothers have really changed. Like, the stories you hear, like, it's, it's so mad, you know, like, the way they've changed, like, the way people have, like, the, the brothers that, like, when I hear the stories, and uh, these brothers are buy me stuff, they buy me food, they buy me food. All different colours, all different races and so forth, you know? Why is this stopping? Come on, man. Folds and that, and you, just, you, know, you wouldn't expect it. And brothers that I've heard that, like, you started practising on this trip. 
Oh, my mother's got pens in their pockets and that. Look like one tolerable ear man. It's beautiful, man. All different races, all different colours, brotherhood, man. This has been a lovely experience. <laughs> Have you used the word lovely before that? <laughs> when I was in the coaching, feeling emotional, obviously Allah is not here, Allah is above his throne, but I felt like I was leaving the Prophet Allah Salaam Muhammad. Was... Did you hear that? This brother is young, you could tell he's just like basically come back to Dean. These guys are not only going on Umrah, yeah, but they're also learning about Akida because the brother's talking about Allah. Like he's talking about how he feels so close to Allah, you know. He, when he's near the Kaaba and he says, Lord, obviously Allah is above the throne. But this is not something you just pick up normally, like, like you, you know, people have to be taught, you know, people, like that means that the brothers are also studying Akida, you know, on, and learning what, why they're going on this trip. So they're getting the spiritual Iman boost, but they're also get, gaining Elm about, you know, where Allah is and stuff, man, you know. Because for him to point out feel that he has to point out that Allah is in everywhere because in case people might misunderstand what he's saying shows that you know he's aware of you know tall heat and stuff. May Allah give him jet. May Allah give them all jet. <laughs> when was the last time you used the word lovely before that? <laughs> when I was in the culture feeling emotional, obviously Allah is not here, Allah is above his throne, but I felt like I was leaving the Prophet Allah Salaam, Muhammad that I was with for couple of days you know even just walking past in the medina i was just like just walking back to the hotel but then the prophet is grave i'm thinking how am i walking past Allahumma salam have the prophet is there how am i not giving salam you know and i was saying even to have the opportunity the life of living is different man. you know what i'm saying it's different after part station and that you know what i'm saying, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? it's bad different and then also when i was on the coach i was feeling, feeling like you know, sincere happiness like, I'm, I'm going to allah like not going to allah but like you know what i'm saying it's the closest point it's like but allah hey even the brothers that i would come with you know what i'm saying Used to be a company on some badness, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then, alhamdulillah, now we're coming together, praying salah with each other. We prayed salah with each other before, but here is all, you know what I'm saying? And then, yeah, obviously, I want to give a thank, big thank you to the five star Umrah. I mean, it's actually, five star, you know, the hotel is sick, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's oh, out there. Imran is all, wallahi, bro, wallahi, Imran, what you actually do, well, Rabbil Kaaba, yeah, well, the Kaaba just there on the wallahi, Alim, yeah, the way you look up, like, you know, the way you try to like, help the brothers, yeah, fi sabilillah. <laughs> you know, he's not in my family, remember, bro? You know what I'm saying? Halim, <laughs> wallahi, I'm not joking, bro. That's why I want to say, those people that say, oh, damn, man, he's got no suffering, he's got no patience, oh, he's harsh, and this, that, yeah, That's one thing you can't do. You can't do hajj and umrah tours with people, yeah, and be fake, because people will pick up. And he's done tons of these, taking like youths out to, you know, Umrah and this stuff. You can't be fake, yeah, and just be in front of the cameras and acting all righteous and all this stuff and take people on Hajj. Because you live with people when you're on Hajj. You mix with people all the time. So, like, yeah, anyone can cut, like, come on a camera and pretend, yeah, I'm a good Muslim and look at my bed, look at my phone, but I give down all this kind of stuff. But when you take people on Umrah, on a... On, on a regular basis trust me the youth are not going to go because they're going to speak to each other and say ah oh, he's one way when he's on camera and he's another way and so this just goes to show you that look uh, look at the end of the day you know you can't be fake and do hajj and umrah trips and so forth because people will find you out bro. not to say people are perfect or this that and so forth but there's two sides to the story man you made me forget all my worries about life. You made uh, this trip wouldn't be the same without you, bro. Then let's, let's put that out there. Imran is all, Wallahi, bro. Wallahi, Imran, what you actually do, well, Rabbil Kaaba, yeah? Well, the Kaaba is just there on the Wallahi, Alim. Yeah, the way you look up, like, you know, the way you try, like, help the brothers. Yeah, fi sabilillah. <laughs> you know, he's not in my family, remember, bro? You know what I'm saying? Halim, wallahi, I'm not joking, bro. You made me forget all my worries, wallahi. You made uh, this trip wouldn't be the same without you, bro. <laughs> and Amir, wallahi, I owe you so much, bro. 
He taught me life lessons here. And wallahi, well, some of the brothers in the airport looked intimidating. And I said, he one of them. <laughs> <laughs> when I said, wallahi, well, you're the realest guy I know, man. And I'll give you genital for the dose, bro. Um, well, I, it was the first couple of days of the mad experience. I was thinking, like, what's going on here? Why is everyone so lovely? Like, why is everyone, everyone being so nice? Do you get? And like, no, really. Like, I'm, I was, I took a step back thinking, yo, what's the agenda here? Do you get? Like, like, like where am I? Like, how I, how I grew up. Like, people only um, are nice to you if you benefit them. Do you get? I hear people asking, how are you? I'm thinking, what's going on? I just woke up, people asking, how am I? I'm, I just woke up, that's what I am. But, like, after a couple of days, like, after a couple of days, Alhamdulillah, um, like, I realised, like, like, this is what brotherhood is, isn't it? And then, that's when I started, like, more, being more, like, open with the people, you know, conversating with people, asking people how they was, instead of just getting in one way. Um, and then, yeah, man, it was just the experience, like, at one point, we were 20 men up, like, Razak knows we were 20 men up going to, the, <laughs> going to the Blackstone, going through madness. As soon as the 20 men done, another three people come from nowhere. There's a little brother. This guy, we threw him over everyone. This little brother, we threw him over everyone. MashaAllah. He got there. Um, yeah, man. Firstly, I want to thank Allah, definitely. That's, that's, who, that's what comes first. And Superb. I want to thank all of you, not only the group leaders, but all of you as well. Because, like... I never thought I could, you know, be with people that are not from the same, you know, path of life as me to go. But inshallah, you know, we'll benefit each other and, you know, we'll back up in our, we'll back up in Jannah, inshallah. Mm. Yeah, and, and that's it, man. Um, and I would like to thank the team, team leaders as well. Imran, you do so much for us, Wallah, it's not appreciated, bro. Thank you so much, bro. Wallah, you do so much for us. Online, I'm in the masjid, I see that effort that you and Abu Bakr, you as well, man. You lot put so much effort into the brotherhood. And look, this, we've become a family, man, will I? I would have never thought I'd be here, man, seriously. And to think 60 man deep were here, will I stand to you, man? And something, like, unbelievable. Like, brothers that weren't even in Islam, Taro, will I spoke to you three days ago, bro? Will I have so much love for you, bro? Like, brothers come into Islam through, through what? Through these programs that we've had, man. That me, I haven't been Muslim for a very long time, but... Being here is like a blessing. I never thought I would be here. For me, I met guys like Halim. He always used to say, love family, love family. <laughs> <laughs> I met certain brothers here that, that... Please tell me this video, video, for what's being captured in this video, no amount of money can replace this. These young, Everyone practices when they get older and stuff like that. But for these like young brothers who are in their late, mid, late, teens early 20s mid 20s look at this bro like to take them out of the council state and to bring them to the kaaba uh, and also teach them elm deen akida and tawheed at the same time well like these videos plus this is one of my favorite videos i've seen on youtube man just seen just just seen the effects man well like he's priceless i weren't even in islam and what's sad is I bet music videos get more views than this video. I bet, um, what is it? You know, some har haram, you know, I don't know. Some, some, what kind of haram video gets tons of more views than this? But it's a pun, you know? That's why if you can subscribe to the CS sessions, um, that's what the channel this is on, inshallah. No. Like the video, you know. Taro, well, I spoke to you three days ago, bro. Well, I have so much love for you, bro. Like, brothers come into Islam through through what? Through these programs that we've had, man. That me, I haven't been Muslim for a very long time, but being here is like a blessing. I never thought I would be here. For me, I met guys like Halim. He always used to say, love family, love family. <laughs> I met certain brothers here that... that I never really thought I'd get along with a lot of people, but seriously, man, I love it here, man. This is seriously Umrah with the man, then, man. Get me? I want to say thank you to a lot of people, man. Imran done a lot for me. Abu Bakr done a lot for me. All the group leaders done a lot. And being a new Muslim, like, it's, it's a bit hard at the start. But you know, being here, it's a, 
Raw, like, everyone's just your brother. It's like, certain guys in the hood, yeah, the man, they screw face, you this and that. But here, salam alaikum, alaikum salam. I love it here. I want to rip my ticket up. I want to stay here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, serious. Adam, well, I, I just see you on Instagram. I like, mean, in your real life, bro. It's like, it's not, this, this isn't fake, you know what I'm saying? Like, true love. Like, like you man say, yeah, Imran, you always say, Blood is thicker than water, but Iman is thicker than blood. And Wallahi, I realise that here. And I'm so glad to have benefited from the teachers here, Ustad Yassin, Ustad Abdul Ahad. But um, I've been Umrah, alhamdulillah, twice before. But I can honestly say, like, this has actually been life changing. <laughs> Certain brothers here is doing some wrong stuff with them in the ends, man. And now look, like, Subhanallah, my main, main, like the main highlight of this whole trip. <coughs> Certain brothers, I don't want to point no, point no one out here. Yeah? Used to run from feds with them. I don't like a runner, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, man. You know what they like? Yeah. Alright, that's it, man. Ask him, man. And that's, that was really even the moment. You know when we was running to the road, up? Well, like then I was thinking, yo, this guy here, I used to run from Jake's with him. And now we're running to the road together, like, <laughs> subhanAllah, you know? That stuff is different, man. It was a, it was a different feeling, man. And, well, I, look, there's so many different guys here, man. Certain, <coughs> certain man, they just look like, in the ends, I won't even look at you twice. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, but, well, like, hey, I see, I see the unity, man. I see the unity, bro. Everyone's doing, I just, it's just nuts, man, well, like, Gotta thank you lot again, well, like, thank you so much for this opportunity, brothers, man. At airport, I see a lot of Somalis. You know? I don't know, it's a lot of Somalis. And yeah? when you see a lot of Somali, you give each other's looks. That's it. Now. <laughs> I, this is what you see. So, sad, so sad. So the airport, uh, Abdullah. I don't like the way you're looking at me. Uh, uh, Abdullah. <laughs> And then, and I, and I realized we had a lot of friends. And I was like, oh, when my friends left me at the airport, I was like, oh, I said, why did they leave? Why did they leave? And I thought we were going to kick off. Well, alhamdulillah, yeah. I talked to one of the guys that when we were queuing up. Everyone seemed like good brothers. And I was th thought to myself, no one's going to get into beef, man. We all came for the same reason. Oh, no. This is the best experience of my life, for I like. This brother, man. My life changing, truth, truth be told. Don't even lie. Like, see the cup, uh, be able to go to the camera, like, it's actually beautiful. <laughs> Send this video to any YouTube or world, man. Life, they don't touch their heart. I don't know what, man. This brother, man. Man, I'm not sleepy, yeah. It's a pain, man. I love you, this brother, the rest of the world. We all came for the same reason. Oh no, this is the best experience of my life, oh no, like, okay. it's been life changing, truth, truth be told, oh no, like, see the cap, uh, be able to go to the cap, oh no, it's like, it's such a beautiful thing. Tears of happiness, man. Tears of happiness. Hey, it's soft behavior. Well, it's my soft behavior. It's my soft behavior. Look at what I'm saying. Going to the Haram, I'm feeling the cap is actually a beautiful feeling. Like, it's something that I love to experience every single day of my life. Like, 
Poxa, qual é a vice? Não tem uma, né? Olha lá o futuro vídeo, não. Ah, não. Olha lá, você está aí, não? Ele só olha lá, bro. Só olha lá. Olha lá. Olha lá. Olha lá. I'm just grateful, isn't it? To be honest, it's all I. All I never expected to be here again. Especially with brothers that I grew up with. You get me? I've been through a lot. Oh, a lot It's hard for young men to say man. That takes brain. Yeah man. It's been life changing man. No yeah. Yeah, if you know any brothers, you... Well, like brothers and sisters, you have to admit, that right there, that was powerful. What you're seeing right there, there's no acting, no drama, it's real life. We're coming from mad places, mad backgrounds. They will change it for the sake of Allah. The reason we document each and every single one of these things is because me, I know, you might see me as a hype man. A guy who talks the talk, biggest event, most epic event, life-changing event. And the reality is that none of that's hype. That's all real. These events are real. These Umrah trips are real. But I want you to see the realness for where we see the realness. That's how we document all of these things. That's how we upload it. Because I want you to know exactly what it is that we're doing so that, number one, you could be a part of it. You could join us on the next trip that we got going on on the 29th of March, stretching through to the first, second week of April. And number two, so that you could donate and contribute. So it's helping these young brothers change their lives. Some of these people, in fact, most of these people you've seen, you lot donated for the trips and made them possible after Allah has said, of course. That's you lot's reward. Every prayer they pray, every dua they make, every time they read the Quran, that's on your skills, inshallah. Someone changed their life because you made it possible with Allah's permission. Imagine you on the day of judgment, how that's going to be. So without any further ado, I shouldn't have to explain myself anymore. You don't know anyone else doing these kind of projects. If you do, go give them the money. Go donate towards them. But if you don't, and you have the money, and you're able to help change someone's life, I'll say no more. Donate the link below, inshallah ta'ala. Because this, like I said, is real. Assalamu alaikum. Peace. Yeah. So I say I love you all. Yeah, the brother doesn't know that I'm making this video and so forth. Um, I just made it because it's one of the most powerful videos I've seen on YouTube. If you know any brothers on the road, send it. No matter how much if they're smoking, drinking, no matter how much mash, mash up stuff they're doing, they got girlfriend, they do robberies. Send this video to them. You know, if you're close to them and you know they'll watch anything automatically, you'll send to them. Because if this don't touch their heart, Allah well, knows what will. You know, no one put me up to this. No one knows I'm doing this. I just did this because, well, well, I saw this video and it touched me. Anyway, love you all for the sake of Allah, inshallah. Subscribe to the sheets, the CS sessions, inshallah. Um, yeah, subscribe to the CS sessions, inshallah. And um, there it is. The CS sessions, inshallah. And check it out, man. Got tons of videos like this. Anyway, so I'm going to go to Allah. We're back at you.